I just interviewed Dr. Robert Manning, author of Credit Card Nation, but importantly, he's founder of an organization called Responsible Debt. And in talking to Dr. Manning, who's an economist and sociologist, uh, kind of like a behavioral economist, uh, we, I realized that so much of our debt comes from uh, the attitude, uh, how you feel about what you should spend. He brought this to. Uh, he, he brought this up. Like, how do you feel when you use your credit card? What are the thoughts that go through your head? Do you say to yourself, mm, "Maybe I can't afford it right now, but I'll be okay. By the time I have to pay it, I'll save some money. I'll be okay." Or, I sometimes say, "Oh." I've been working so hard. You know what? I really deserve to treat myself. This is my gift from me, and I charge it. Um, sometimes you see a sale and you say, gee, if I buy this now, I'll save so much. I learned my lesson there. Somebody once told, well, not once, recently told me, never buy anything on sale that you wouldn't pay full price for. And that's certainly worth remembering. Uh, sometimes you'll say, okay, I have plenty of money left on my credit limit, so I'll do it. Or sometimes you're just disgusted, you've worked hard, you look around you, and you say to yourself, I mean, what is that idiot doing that he, can, that he or she can afford those designer clothes that I can't? I'll never have enough money anyway, I might as well just spend it. That cumulative stress can be very much reversed if you if you could start to think about the difference, the other side of the coin, the flip side of the coin. Um, I gotta tell you, instead of saying I deserve that, how about saying I deserve to be free of debt. I deserve to be free of the burden of the stress of the bills. Or I'm gonna spend all the money I make on me and not on throwing interest away. I mean the interest rates on uh, especially if you're paying only the minimum payment, the interest rates go on and go on and go on. Uh, <laughs> we said it, you could pay for a $15 pizza. By the time you're done, you could only, if, if you're only paying minimum payments, you could own the pizza store. Uh, the other thing is, how about looking in the mirror and just saying to yourself, if you could get to that point, I enjoy, I'm proud. I'm proud that I have learned to live within my means. Um, I, credit is, is an addiction like any other addiction, and honestly, one of the way, the, one of the best ways to rid yourself of a lot of stress is to simply say to yourself, "I'm paying this off, and I'm not buying any, and I'm not buying anything other than absolute necessities until I can afford them." Send me your thoughts on the use or maybe even the lack of use of credit cards.